The Lemieux Effect, How He Changed the Business of Hockey The National Hockey League, NHL, has seen its fair share of talented players over the years. From legends like Bobby Orr and Wayne Gretzky to modern-day icons such as Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin, the league has witnessed some truly remarkable athletes. However, one player stands out among the rest due to his impact both on and off the ice of Mario Lemieux. Lemieux burst onto the NHL scene in the early 1980s as the first overall pick in the 1984 draft, selected by the Pittsburgh Penguins. From the moment he stepped on the ice, it was clear that he possessed a unique blend of skill, speed, and hockey IQ that set him apart from his peers. His ability to effortlessly glide past defenders and thread the needle with his passes earned him comparisons to the great Gretzky himself. On the ice, Lemieux was a force to be reckoned with. He won two Stanley Cups with the Penguins in 1991 and 1992, and he captured numerous individual accolades throughout his career. He became known for his signature move, the Lemieux Deke, where he would fake out opposing goaltenders with his unmatched stick handling abilities. His offensive prowess was unparalleled, and he finished his career with an impressive 690 goals and 1033 assists in just 915 regular season games. But it was not just his on-ice performance that set Lemieux apart. Off the ice, he made a significant impact on the business side of hockey. During the 1990s, the Penguins faced financial difficulties that threatened the team's very existence. Lemieux, not wanting to see his beloved franchise fold, took matters into his own hands. In 1999, Lemieux became the first player to own a significant stake in his team while still an active player. Through this bold move, he not only saved the Penguins from bankruptcy but also paved the way for future players to have a greater say in the management and ownership of their teams. Lemieux's investment in the Penguins was a game-changer for the business side of hockey, giving players more control and a voice in the decisions that affect their careers. Moreover, Lemieux's influence extended beyond his own team. He, along with several other top stars, played a pivotal role in shaping the era of player empowerment in the NHL. Through collective bargaining and negotiations, players fought for better contracts, improved working conditions, and greater financial security. The success and impact of these efforts can be seen today, as NHL players now enjoy higher salaries and greater involvement in league decisions. Lemieux's impact on the business of hockey continued long after he retired. In 2005, he once again stepped in to save the Penguins from financial turmoil by leading a group of investors to purchase the team outright. He then used his business acumen to spearhead the construction of the team's new arena, the Consol Energy Center, now known as PPG Paints Arena. This state-of-the-art facility provided the Penguins with a modern and sustainable venue, further solidifying their presence in Pittsburgh. Furthermore, Lemieux's involvement in the business side of hockey did not stop at team ownership. He also played a role in the development of young talent through the Mario Lemieux Foundation. Established in 1993, the foundation focuses on raising funds for cancer research and patient care. Lemieux's personal battle with Hodgkin's lymphoma served as a catalyst for his dedication to cancer-related causes. By combining his love for hockey with his desire to make a difference, he has had a lasting impact on the lives of countless individuals. In conclusion, Mario Lemieux's impact on the business of hockey cannot be overstated. Through his exceptional skills on the ice and his groundbreaking involvement in team ownership, he revolutionized the way players are viewed and treated in the NHL. His contributions have paved the way for increased player empowerment and have played a significant role in the league's growth and success. Beyond his business ventures, Lemieux's philanthropic efforts have shown his commitment to making a difference off the ice as well. His legacy as a player, owner, and philanthropist will continue to inspire and shape the future of hockey for generations to come.